to my channel. I know I've been MIA again, y'all. I'm still trying to hold on to this vlog mess. I'm trying, it's really harder than what I thought. And I'm trying to become like more creative to think of. Become more crea creative and think of different things to post. But, um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't, uh, to me, came across anything going to <laughs> super interesting. Did you hear come out of it? Yeah. Okay, well, I need to put it strictly on the um, Hold on, y'all. We're trying to get the Lord. Because the TV got headphones, so Charlie could listen to the radio, the, her TV without we hearing it up here. So, hold on. Expecting the Rick Rose. Wasn't that I was. You wanna show them your haircut? Well you, he's driving. You know the only people we the only person we met, look. Look at look at let them, let them see your face. Let them see your face. You look so handsome. Hurry, let them see your face with it. That's COVID going on. Hurry, let them see your mustache and stuff. That's COVID going on. We don't need to Okay, y'all, so he told his mother to just clean up the sides and leave some at the top, but she could determine how much to leave at the top. Y'all, she didn't give him an Eva Stevens and cut it all low. It was so funny when he went and looked in that mirror, he told her, mommy, mommy, I ain't saying cut me bald now. And I could not hold my laugh and I wish I had the camera rolling because it almost seemed like it was a prank. It was so funny, but I don't know why he won't let y'all see it. Look, he looks so cute. Come on, hurry. Not trying to spread any COVID. Let them see how handsome you look. But yeah, so. Hope you guys understand. I don't know what is there to understand. A pandemic going on. What that got to do with what you look at? What you looking don't like? Don't have my face mask on. I don't want to spread. No what? Face. So. Whatever. Let's see. Let me make a difference. So y'all. I made to fix this house up. Up, that thing is beautiful. Can you believe what it was like at first? Right, they had the whole. They had three up. tree, three, three tree, three trees in there. But anyway, y'all, y'all know I get sidetracked. So I went to get my little size. Damn, wish I could see it. I went to get my little stuff cleaned up by her mother. She be getting us together. And once I got my stuff done, Craig gonna try to say I look like Noel Webby. 
I must show you a picture with me sitting on the couch. And then I looked at the picture that Charlie then snuck and took at me. I really did look like Lil Webby. So we got me looking like Lil Webby and her looking like Fat Joe or a light skin Rick Rose. But her still look cute though. I'm happy he even got himself all groomed up looking all handsome. When is that the little ass silver car right there? What silver car? <laughs> but not be that little ass Honda. I'm gonna finish that motherfucker in like an hour. Oh, for tomorrow? Yeah, I'm just riding past the uh, plan. Oh, he just come over finishing in an hour. Because he got a silver car. So, I mean, the only silver car I see at this house right now is a Honda. Right. So, cool beans with me. Man. That'll be done in no time. That one right there, right? I or guess it's either this one on the street. Oh, it's either this one on the street, which is was the silver car that he showed me, or that one the girl with. But I don't know if that's his horse. I mean, he said he had a van and a car, but it looked like he has a truck. Mm. Maybe he's out in his van. I'm not sure. Mm. But I'm about to buck another you to, you know, the double check to get some good ass sight. Mm. I like to know what I'm up against when I'm in very the very good, very good, very good. So yeah, so. I forgot what I was saying because I know I'm always losing my train of thought. Yeah, we're just talking about the haircut. But I'm happy her got his haircut. And he's looking scrumptious. So. Oh, okay. That's a Monte Carlo and they're going to van right there. So sweet. So, what have we been up to lately? So, right now I am preparing to do a <clears throat> homeless giveaway or drive with my best friend and I went to go pick up my contribution from my old job let me show y'all so y'all know I used to work for women walker I did um HIV research I went to college I went to grad school and undergrad and I studied community health with a focus more on sort of HIV and healthy sexual practices but I, you know I left so my contribution is condoms look all these condoms y'all I'm so happy condoms let me try to open them and show you <clears throat> so I'm giving out I'm giving up cupcakes condoms the chicken salad for the chicken for the sandwiches and chips so, you guys know I'm passionate about healthy sex practices. And as you know, well, you might not know, but people tend to forget that homeless people have sex too. And, you know, to stop the spread of sexually transmitted diseases, they need condoms. And, um, seniors, oh, look at this house for sale. And, um, senior citizen, um, homes they they could use condoms so <clears throat> I went to go pick that up today no yeah so I went to go grab those and um what was I about to say I meet with my best friend tomorrow to do a little quick little interview chat with her I'm so excited I'm so proud of her for doing this and I'm just so appreciative for women walker because they didn't have to give me all those condoms but they did my Women Walker family always, always, always look out for me. <clears throat> they are some of my biggest supporters of the Ugly Cake Factory, so I'm so grateful. So what else been going on? So <clears throat> also, y'all, I have been, let me just explain this little rut. I don't want to call it a rut, but what i just been dealing with personally. So, you know, we have been cranking really hard, like pumping out orders hard since I would say I got laid off from my part time March 22nd so maybe two weeks after that so I would say about April 1st the first week of April we was been just slammed busting out orders and you know every business have a slower period and the winter months have always been a slower period for the ugly cake factory but you know this year we have been able to hold on. You know, we have been slower during this time, but we have been able to maintain a steady, you know, we haven't, we haven't fallen too far, you know, under. So, 
um mind you now we're up to over 400 customers which i think is really good for a two and a half man show so when i say two and a half man show i'm i'm the only baker my aunt is the only um manager slash communication manager that i have and hurry he helps me deliver whenever his he don't have work to do for himself so it's it's three of us to 415 customers. So you know it was really like becoming all even though the money was good and the money was coming in, it was becoming to be a lot. So I had started noticing that my body has been getting sick. And when I say sick, I feel like I'm having, I'm starting to develop like panic attacks and anxiety attacks to the point that I'm like just throwing up. Like if I'm trying to eat, I, cause usually I don't even eat breakfast. We, we all, me and Harry, Charlie, you know what eat breakfast like soon as she wake up. Cause you know, big mama like, like her food. But when me and Harry, oh, that's a beautiful house. When me and Harry first wake up, we don't just eat. We eat between 10 o'clock and three o'clock, leaning more towards the three o'clock hour because we're usually busier in the morning time. Mind you, we're waking up, if we're working, we're waking up at like four in the morning, <clears throat> anywhere between four and seven in the morning. Even if we're not working, we're still not eating until you know later on in the, in the day. So when I was, when, it, when I finally get a break to eat, I would just throw up. And I will feel like I just need some fresh air and I feel like I'm having a like overwhelmed panic attack. And it was just like my body was just telling me you need to take a break. Like you need to calm down a little bit. But of course, you know, once the money's coming in, it's looking good. You're like, oh, do I really want to take a break? So, you know, December came. So October came. October was on paper. October has been one of my slowest, slowest months. October came, we smashed October. We killed October. Um, November came, we did pretty good in November. December came. And in the previous years, December has been a little bit more busier than, you know, one of our stronger months during the off season. So this month came and it was like almost a complete standstill, you know? And I was just like, kept, you know, asking God, like, you know, why, God, why all of a sudden it's just completely like almost did a 360. And why am I not producing what I was producing, you know, months prior to this month or whatever? And I was really beating myself up because, you know, we was trying to move by February 1st for different reasons and... You know, we had so many things planned out that we wanted to do, but it was just seemed like, you know, we was just coasting out during December. So one day me and Harry was talking and I was just telling her, you know, expressing my concerns to, to him about, you know, this month been a little bit slower, you know, not doubting God, but just questioning why, like, it was doing so good, I expected to smash December too. You know, it probably didn't have to be as much as the summertime, but I was expecting it to do amazing. And so, her was like, you know, you just need to think of it as time to pretty much like recover or whatever, or what, how did you put it? Basically behind the scenes. Yeah, take this time you to- catch up, touch things that you know, been abandoned from right. school. Right, so time to just not take time off from work, but like I like I keep telling you guys, I need to revisit my business plan. I have started a little bit on a business plan, but we're working on getting a little space together downstairs in the basement where I could actually set up like a, a desk and all that so I could get to it and revamping things and coming up with different strategies for 2021 because there are a few different things I would like to do with the business. So he was just like, well, this is this this is a time to work on behind the scenes. Like this is your time to close out the year to prepare for the new year. And you know, God got us, we're gonna be okay. We just, we just need this time to regroup because like I said, at first we was go, 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 go. Literally y'all, uh, we'll wake up less. I'ma just give a day that hurry has to, 
has to do a car wash. So this is how it will go. We wake up. I'm starting to bake. Hurry, most likely his car washes are in the morning. He go do his moves. I bake. I might have a, to meet somebody at 12 o'clock to pick up. I'm running back home, finishing another order, running that out for delivery, and run another delivery, run another delivery, come back on my side of town, meet somebody else for another pickup, run that back. You know, it was just a whole bunch of going back and forth to the store, you know, making sure I'm there for my manager, Keisha, to answer questions, which I know sometimes it's so hard to get in touch with me. Everybody says it's hard to get in touch with me. And sidetrack, please do not take it personally, y'all. It's not one person that has not said that. Like, it's, I, I understand that I'm trying to work on that. Most of the time, Charlie either has my phone or I'm busy doing some type of work. So, <clears throat> You know, I had to re reprogram my thinking. Just was like, okay, well, take this time to work on the paperwork, work on different things that you need to get done while you're not baking. And taking full advantage of this time of the this time of the year because, in actuality, a lot of people did not make it to December because of everything that's going on. So soak in a moment, enjoy your family, enjoy, you know reflect on the, the previous months and how baby girl went to sleep and how we can make it better. So I was like, cool. So <clears throat> back to the moving situation. So mind you, we're like desperately, desperately trying to move. Like desperate to the point that I hate to say it, but we're like settling. We, we were. We were, I'm gonna take that back because we're not gonna settle anymore. But we were like settling, like looking at spots and spots that wasn't even worth what they was asking for, but like, okay, we gotta get in here. We got a big family, you know, we gotta have space for our family to come in. When I say family, I mean our other kids. We gotta have space for the other kids. You know, we desperately have to find something. The clock is ticking. So it was just like, we wasn't finding anything. So then we're like, well, let's just settle for an apartment because we was looking at houses. So we're like, let's just settle for an apartment and whatever we gotta do to move, that's what we gotta do. So we just kept seeming like every place we looked at wasn't worth the price, was overpriced, wasn't worth the price. Or they kept saying this one line, we are looking for section eight, section eight, or voucher holders so i would call these um houses and they were like are you a market rent tenant or do you hold a voucher or are you section eight so i let them know that i'm a market rent tenant and they're like oh no we're just looking for guarantee money basically they're looking for guarantee money no so complaints you know you know how so i hit up on the alga friends that you know she's very smart in the housing market and I was hitting her up because she you know she helps us a lot with trying to find a spot and I'm like yo Nina I'm not understanding why all of a sudden everybody just keeps saying they're looking for vouchers or section 8 so she you know she did her little chuckle and she was like well because with everything that's going on a lot of people are getting laid off or don't have jobs or relying on unemployment so they need that guaranteed government money that's going to come from a voucher or a section 8 because they know that the government could fill in that gap whereas they are taking a big risk right now so I'm like they need to live right on this phone yeah that's what some of them do so I'm like damn you know why another roadblock like I'm trying to do so much right now. I'm trying to just like figure this stuff out. Like why is, why is it not working in my favor? Why isn't my time in right, God? Like I'm doing everything, you know, in my eyes right. Like I'm tiding. I wasn't tiding at first, but I'm making sure I'm paying my tithes. I'm reading, I'm praying. Like I, t I told you I'm constantly talking to God all day long, all day long. Why isn't, you know, so I'm in the shower at this point, like, God, please visit me in my dreams. 
please god please send me a sign please let me know what's going on what should we do what what is the next steps like i need some answers i need some answers and i need them to be clear so i would say maybe within the last hmm two weeks i've been seeing like this little passage come come across come across my eye so it was saying pretty much you are exactly where you're supposed to be until god puts you where until god place you into your next steps pretty much so today when i was down 14th street i rode past one of my favorite spots i used to eat lunch at called chicken and whiskey and they had this beautiful mural on the like right beside their building and on the mirror it said you are exactly where you're supposed to be until you're supposed to be somewhere else and i was like and i just laughed to myself because i'm just like and then after that i just heard god just say be patient be patient but in the mix of all of that I would say about two weeks ago, when I was coming out of the restroom, my mom, the bathroom, why did I say restroom, the bathroom, my mom was like, um, Shawnee, come talk to me or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I went in her room and she was like, well, you know, I see what you got going on. I see what you're doing. So I'm gonna give you guys until February, 2022 to move. So, you know, I was letting her know that, you know, we're still looking to be out by February. 2021 blah 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 but she was like oh okay okay you know we had a more personal in-depth conversation or whatever so i was like um so in the back of my mind i'm just laughing at god because me and god have been going back and forth playing this tug of war game like i'm like god like i i can't be in this basement any longer like i'm outgrowing this my family's outgrowing this i feel like a heavy burden on my heart i'm feeling guilty being here like i know this is a blessing but i know my mom need her space back you know our kids want to come over more you know i'm just going through all these notions and i'm saying this and god keep telling me wait your turn wait your turn be patient you just keep doing what you're doing <clears throat> and i got your mom you keep doing what you're doing and i'll make sure i take care of the rest and i'm just like no you know i want me a seven bedroom house i want me a mansion i need my mansion so <clears throat> today when i seen that mural i just couldn't do nothing but laugh to myself because i'm just like okay god you win like i don't know what to do now like where am i supposed to be i'm i'm gonna be patient and i'm gonna let you guide my steps because like how they said when it's of god it's easy and it's smooth and you don't have to worry it just flows and right now it's just feeling like it's not flowing because the plan that i had conjured conjugated up in my head was I'm cranking out for the rest of these months and I'm going to be gone 2021, what, babe, what were we saying 2021 is ours, we is gone we is doing us we are, <clears throat> and I'm not saying that that still cannot be the case I'm not saying that that's not possible but we, everywhere, everything that we're going through is not only for us but it's for somebody else and I heard a preacher say that on um, on YouTube. So stop, not necessarily don't take it personal, but don't take it personal. Like you just be patient and you just wait your turn. And I, and there's no settling. Like we were so desperate that we was willing to settle. Why settle and be unhappy when you can have the desires of your heart? If you desire a big old house for you and your family, a seven bedroom house, then why not? And of course, people are going to talk you out of it or look at you funny or be like, you really think you could get that? Or why would you want that? Woody woo woo. But they don't understand, you know, the power of God and what God can do for you. And I truly believe 100% deep down inside of my heart that we are going to get that. And another thing is, God does not want us to move forward as just fiancés you know my hands are so ashy y'all he doesn't want us just to be fiancés like if we're going to be getting this house 
if we're gonna be doing this and that <clears throat> then we have to be married we have to be you know doing it the right way honestly it's not just shacking up in the house so that is something that we want to work on we we desperately want to have to go through some counseling or whatever and i'm not saying that our relationship has to be perfect but that that is something that we have to work towards so yeah that is where we are with what's been going on with us lately it's just trying to be still and understand why we're being still in the season that we're in instead of being trying to rush ourselves outside of the season like it's not meant for us to be so anywhere else but where we at it's not meant for us to go through anything but what we're going through and what we're going through is going to make us stronger better you know <laughs> more powerful and sometimes we let our own selfish desires and wants override god's plan god like okay if, you, if that's what you really want i will give you that but let's not forget what you've been asking me for what you've been praying for what's the point of you keep praying to me every night and keep asking me for these certain things if you're willing to just settle because you're listening to what the devil is telling you in your head don't keep praying to me don't keep telling me what you want don't keep you know talking in a manifestation and then you like oh, oh, uh, no, just give me anything. Just give me anything. Anything. I'm so pressed right now. Just give me anything. And whoever can't understand what you got going on, and oh, she is getting mad. I mean, why? You don't know if he got to exactly. turn around and back up and get his back ties or what? Exactly. Look at her. People just be getting so. Unless she knew. No, she is upset. Look at her throwing that gun. Ooh, please just let her get her air. But it's sorry, another air machine over there. It sure or is. Or the gas station. It sure is. That's Seven Eleven air pump. So sorry, y'all. But you know, you know how to say it. Saying go. If you worry, why pray? If you pray, why worry? So why am I keep? Oh no, they do know each other. Why am I keep praying for my seven bedroom house? And to be able to sustain my seven bedroom house. Why well, I'm gonna keep praying for all this stuff if I'm willing to just be like, forget it, man. Bump that. I want anything at this point. No. So that's a little talk I wanted to have with you guys to get you guys updated. We are still looking. We had went to go look at what's the what is that part of Fort Washington we looked at yesterday? I had to think back. I know it start with a T. It got like a north. I want to keep saying Tentley Town, but Tentley Town is in D.C. You said we went. Are oh, you talking about uh, town, Tantalia? Ten, yes. We went to. Fort Washington. We went mm -hmm. riding around there because I see a house around there that I wanted. Big, beautiful house. Oh, my gosh. I never even knew that part of Fort Washington area even existed. Beautiful houses right on the water and i'm like yes i can have all of this god could give this to my family so why am i trying to be and why am i looking for and i understand you got to do what you got to do because if my mom said y'all need to leave today then that's what we have to do we will have to leave today and go be in somewhere else but i'm blessed and i'm fortunate enough for my mom to be like okay i have another year to let whatever ha needs to happen happen but you know them houses just riding through the neighborhood gave me so much hope gave me so much inspiration this made me so happy because i feel like it was a reason that we rode down there and the reason that we rode down there was because god wanted to let us know that you see all of this just like i got this for these people i can get this for you guys you know, you guys deserve this. You guys are worthy enough to have this. Don't think that this is not possible. Don't don't feel like that, you know, this is unattainable because I feel like so many so many people like, damn, I gotta do what to get that? When, you know, I know the plans that I have for you. That's what the Lord says. <clears throat> and it's not to hurt you or harm you. So 
he knows the desires of our hearts so i'm gonna leave that there it was nice talking to you guys y'all know we always in our family van um i love my van we got this van at that um harry's car accident and all of my good supporters help us get this and you know i love my van so we are going to we was just riding around trying to get charlie to go to sleep but we probably about to head back in but i just wanted to y'all could probably see my little hair cut a little bit more i know i'll be having a little curly stuff going on at the top i wish i could see it i'm gonna have to um tomorrow y'all see the little fades on the side yeah baby i'm gonna try and say it look like a little webby He hate him. Almost give me many fresh vibes now. But until next time, guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I hope this was some type of motivation for somebody else. I hope this gave you a little bit of insight and insight on what we got going on over here on outside of town. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if I have not said it again. If you want to follow us on social media, my business page is called, um, on Instagram, it's called at the Ugly Cake Factory LLC. I'll put the link below. Hurry's car washing and detailing is called at Filthy Wheels LLC, right? Yeah. Make sure you check us out. Love you guys. Peace.